in one of the most anticipated out-of-conference matchups in the upcoming season, Ohio State is looking to punch themselves yet another ticket to the college football playoff. While on the other side, the Fighting Irish have found themselves a true gunslinger at quarterback to help them bolster the offense for the 2023 season. The Ohio State quarterback situation is still somewhat shaky after the departure of C.J. Stroud, but the weapons around the quarterback will prove to be vital in the transition for the Buckeyes' future starter. Notre Dame has landed themselves arguably the most experienced college quarterback in the nation, which should prove to be fruitful in the progression for Marcus Freeman in this program. Who will win this heavyweight matchup? Stick around to hear our thoughts. Welcome back to Clash of Cultures. As we continue along with the 2023 College Football Preview Series, we're going to be taking a look at the Ohio State versus Notre Dame matchup in week four. As always, if you guys are new to the channel, please like, comment down below, subscribe. Also, join our College Football Pick'em group in the comment section below. Um, we're going to be giving away a jersey to whoever has the highest score at the end of the year in that. Um, but before we get started, the comment of the day comes from Guinea Pig Clips 5205. He is a he's an average Clash of Culture uh, viewer. He's been rocking us for about a month and a half now. He's a Notre Dame fan. Um, I made I made a post yesterday uh, doing a, a poll of who we think is going to win, the Ohio State Notre Dame. So I'm going to post it on the screen right now so you guys can see the percentages as of right now. But he says, Notre Dame, uh, go Irish, with a couple of clover emojis. So he's that was the Notre comment. Of, that was a corny comment. How yeah, about but the comment of the day? There we need a little bit more juice in our comments. There wasn't many comments yesterday, and this was, it obviously Ooh, fits the, the Listen, criteria. we need some better comments than go Irish. It's corny. He, he's mad because uh, Notre Dame is playing Ohio State. But um, <laughs> what do you think about this game? Obviously, you're an Ohio State fan, but what do you think about it and kind of your preview of the game? Yeah, no, um, I'm a big Marcus Freeman fan. Um, Sam Hartman, I think this is his real true test, right, coming out of the ACC. Uh, I think we all think that he has the potential to be a big-time quarterback. Uh, but uh, I think the Ohio State defense is going to be pretty good. Uh, so I really want to see what he does in this game. Like I said, we've done breakdowns for both teams already. Uh, so if you want to see what we think about the players and the players coming back, please check out those videos. But just as I compare these two teams, um, I think really what we want to see is is, is Sam Hartman um, with this Notre Dame team leading them um, from the quarterback position. Um, so this is this is his first real test. Uh, I think this is week four in the season. Uh, so his fourth game. Uh, so this is his first real test to see, one, what that Notre Dame team is going to be. Even if they lose, I think they have an opportunity to make a good statement. Um, but this is Sam Hartman's time to really announce himself um, as a true uh, one NFL quarterback, but but as somebody to be reckoned with uh, during this college football season. So. Um, I don't know what's funny. Somebody must be looking at you. I know you got a, I know you, I know you got a bunch of stuff going on at the house, but literally just staring. Um, but let's let's uh let me give my my kind of synopsis of the game. So by looking at it, um, Ohio State is a nine point favorite as an away team, which is kind of crazy given the fact that this game obviously is at Notre Dame. Um, I do have Ohio State winning. Um, but I think it's gonna be a very good game. I think this is gonna be like a game of the year type game. Um, it's at four thirty my time, which is you know Pacific Coast. So it's going to be a 7.30 game on the East. So it's going to be the night game. I expect it to be rocking. Tickets are starting at $475. Yeah. So that is that is insane. I know you were talking about going to the game with a few of your friends. I don't know if you're still thinking about that. But um, that's, going, that's going to be a really good game. If you guys um, are Notre Dame fans, like I said in the LSU video, if you are a Notre Dame fan, you should be betting on this line, a nine-point underdog, being a double or a two-score underdog. Um, heading into a game at home, and this is probably one of the better teams that you guys have had in the last five to ten seasons. Definitely the best quarterback you guys have had in a long time. Um, obviously a top five quarterback in all of college football. Probably he's arguably the most experienced quarterback in all of college football. Um, yeah. I, I know he holds a, a bunch of records in the ACC. Obviously he's moving um, over to uh, Notre Dame, but it's not like he hasn't been playing against stiff defense. He's been playing, playing against Clemson his entire college career. So I don't, I don't think. Ohio State's defense is going to be something that he's never seen before because, I mean, Clemson has had a notorious top no, three. And, and I don't know off the top of my head, uh, and I'm sure you may know better than me, how has he done against Clemson? Well, he he uh, threw for 500 yards against Clemson last year. Oh, oh okay. That's yeah, a so <laughs> I think he threw for 500 yards and six touchdowns against us last year. Um, and we were – I want to say we were like the number eight defense in, in the country last year. Some I know we were top 10 for sure, um, and he he shredded us. Um, but obviously, it's a different system. At Wake Forest, they're running uh, the slow the slow meshing uh, re, re RPOs and stuff like that. They're not going to run that in Notre Dame. Um, but I think 
the difference maker in this game is going to be the offensive and defensive line. Um, I, I think obviously quarterback situation wise or quarterback comparison wise, Notre Dame has the, the edge by a lot in my yeah, opinion. I, I, I agree. I, but, I'll give Notre Dame that. But the skill positions, I think Ohio State has the edge a lot in that position. So I, I think it's going to come that. down to which which uh, offensive line and defensive line can assert themselves early in the game, kind of get out early. I think if Ohio State gets up, you know, seven or 14 early, I don't know if Notre Dame has the firepower to come back. Um, and I think if Notre Dame can get up early, they can kind of hold the ball, control the pace of the game, the tempo, play keep away, um, and they could they could pull off this upset. I mean, a nine point underdog to me. I think if Notre Dame won this game, it wouldn't be an upset to me, just because that would be they, crazy. Yeah, what they did to Clemson last year, um, they smashed us in the mouth. Uh, a, a person to watch in this game. I know we talk about Emeka Buka, we talk about Julian Fleming, we talk about Marvin Harrison Jr., all the weapons that Ohio State has. A player to watch in this game is Benjamin Morrison, the sophomore corner out of uh, Notre Dame. Um, I believe he led them in interceptions last year, um, and I think he was all freshman, um, all American um, throughout the entire entirety of college football last year. But I think he's a top five corner in college football. He is nice, um, so I expect him to have a decent showing. He should be able to kind of uh, this would be his his statement game going against all these NFL bound receivers. Um, so I'm hoping to see something out of him. But I think, like I said, it's going to come down to the offensive and defensive line. Yeah. Uh... So you you've made some incredible points. One, uh, I think the nine point uh, uh, underdog is a little crazy, right? I think we we returned a much much more experienced team, especially when you think about CJ last year, um, and we only won by eleven. And really, the eleven uh, Notre Dame, I believe, was winning at halftime, and we pulled away a little bit in the second half, and that was without Hartman and Marcus Freeman. I think that was his first game. Um, so so a lot more going against Notre Dame last year than this year. And like you mentioned, that was in Ohio Stadium. We will now be playing at Notre Dame. Um, so, yeah, I think Ohio State's going to win. And let me say, uh, just as an Ohio State fan, um, I, you know, I, I hope that it's comfortable. But I will also say that as a human, as, as somebody, and I'm not a sports better, but if I was to take a bet, I would take Notre Dame and nine, right? I wouldn't, I wouldn't bet Ohio State having to cover plus nine yeah, away to me with, with Hartman and, and Marcus Freeman second year as a head coach, right? I would I, I would bet Notre Dame um if I got nine points. So I, I think that's a little disrespectful. I'm sure Notre Dame is going to feel disrespected. Um again we're breaking in and, and and this is early in the season. Now mind you we have a couple of cupcakes early. Uh so this is this would be whoever the starting quarterback is uh whether that be Kyle McCord or Devin Brown. Um, we start with uh, Indiana, uh, Youngstown State, and then Western Kentucky, right? So this is the first real game. Um, yeah, that, they, that they'll be playing. This is the first team that is probably going to be able to get pressure, uh, muddy the pocket a little bit. Uh, the first real college football test. Um, and, and with the lights on, right? I think even those first three games are really probably not going to be primetime games. No. We talked about what games we thought were going to be game day games. I think, Steve, I think you had this game being the game day game. Like you mentioned, this is a night game. Um, all eyes are going to be on this game. Um, so this is the first real test for one of those quarterbacks uh, in the lights versus, and again, uh, to your point, Sam Hartman, who's been there and done that. Um, so that's concerning for me as an Ohio State fan. I'll be honest. Um, Sam Hartman is a guy who's who's been there, who's been in big games, uh, and who's proven himself. Right, that's why I mentioned the Clemson game. Um, so yeah, I, I, I would take Notre Dame plus nine. Of course, I think Ohio State's going to win. Uh, but uh, and like I said, I would I, my score is probably going to be over nine. Um, but if I had to bet it, I would bet Notre Dame plus nine. Um, so just to kind of um, give a um, a how can I put it? A backstory on uh, Sam Hartman at Clemson. So last year, Clemson did beat him in double overtime, 51 to 45. Um, but Hartman threw for 337 yards and six touchdowns. That's crazy. Um, and so the reason why I'm saying I wouldn't be surprised if Notre Dame won is because, for, for one, Clemson traveled to Notre Dame last year. Um, we all saw DJ struggle mightily in that game. Um, you brought Cade Klubnick in um, in a hostile environment who was a true freshman, threw a pick on his first pass attempt. Um, and obviously, as a Clemson fan, that's not something we wanted to see. I think we lost by two touchdowns in that game. So I just know how hostile of a territory that's going to be for a inexperienced quarterback. Again, Ohio State has a plethora of weapons, way more weapons than Clemson had last year. It's not even an argument. 
But at the end of the at the end of the day, the quarterback still has to make the plays, make the reads, get the ball into those guys' hands. Um, so I don't know how that's going to work. Like I said, I'm predicting Ohio State to win. I do think it's going to be a bit of a low scoring game, um, just because I think both defenses are going to come to play. Obviously, Ohio State has arguably the best offense in college football, but I think Notre Dame's defense is going to be improved. Like I said, we already talked about Benjamin Morrison. I know they lost Isaiah Foskey, um, but you still bring back Jordan Patello at defense at the defensive end to kind of replace that. Um, so I'm going to say this score is going to be 27 to to 24, um, Ohio State. So I have it a, a very close game. I um, mean, like I said, yeah, I would not be surprised if Notre Dame won this game. Again, Notre Dame has three juggernauts: Clemson, USC, and Ohio State. Um, I had them going two and two and one. Um, in those, I'm sorry, one and two in those three games. So I do think they're going to beat either USC, Clemson, or Ohio State. It could be this one. It could be the other two. Um, but I have Ohio State winning this game. But like I said, I would not be surprised. Now my answer. If you think about everything I said, please remember that I am an Ohio State fan. Please remember when I say I'm betting, my, my bet versus my thoughts are two different things. So I have the game 28-14. Um, I think Ohio State is going to be much improved on defense this year. I think we'll bring it back a lot. Obviously, again, Ohio State does recruit well, so we're able to fill some of the gaps. Although I think we're bringing it back a lot. Uh, I think uh, – the quarterback is going to struggle a little bit, but I think by the second half, hopefully we kind of figure it out. And, and with the tools that we have, some players are just able to make plays. I think early we're going to rely on that running game. And I think that's why uh, the score is going to be low. I don't think this is going to be a game where we really air it out. I think this is going to be Travion Henderson, Mayan Williams. I um, mean, we really try to pound the ball early. Uh, again, I, I like, like Steven said, I, this is one of those games that I wouldn't be shocked if Ohio State drops because Notre Dame is capable of beating Ohio State. Uh, but, um, again, I, I think just the weapons on the outside uh, are going to be the difference. And at some point, uh, somebody, a playmaker, is going to break. Um, and I think I think that's what's going to be the difference in this game. Alrighty, That was our breakdown of the Ohio State-Notre Dame game. But before we head out, Dad, I know you have the trivia. So we'll yeah. go ahead and answer your trivia question for today. So this trivia is going to be a little bit different, not super college football related, but somewhat. Um, so the question is, uh, there are nine NFL coaches who yeah. are former NFL players. Can you name them? Um, okay, let me go through the divisions. So Sean McVay did not make it to the NFL, I don't believe, did he? Sean McVay is not on the list. Okay, I, I didn't think it. I know he played in college, but um, Harbaugh for the Ravens. John Harbaugh? Yeah, did he not make it? John Harbaugh did not play in the league. Okay. Um, couldn't have been the Dolphins coach. Um, um, oh, what's his name? What's the coach of the Vikings? Well, is, do you want me to tell you his name? Is he on the list? He is on the list. Yeah, what's his name? I can't think of his name off the top of my head. I think you're a Vikings fan. Kevin I know. Okay, okay. I, I knew he made it, but I, I can't think of it. That's one. So remember nine. I don't There's think Mike, McCar Mike McCarthy's not on there, right? Mike McCarthy's not on the list. I'm sure um, there's some you definitely should get. Um, I'm having a brain fart. That's a problem. Um, Zach, whatever from the Bengals, did not make it. Zach Taylor's too. He's on oh, there. Oh, your name? Are you name is Zach Taylor? Yes or no? Well, he's on, I mean, he's yeah, on yeah, it, but I didn't. I didn't think he yeah. was. I didn't think he was. Um, Bill Belichick is is not in it. Um. Trying to think of teams. Who is the coach of the Texans? Eric Bannemi. I know he's not on it. Eric Bannemi is not a head coach. I thought he got signed. No, he's to the a Washington offensive coordinator. Oh, okay, I thought they signed him as a coach. The, but I will help you and tell you the Texans quarterback is definitely on the list. He's He should have been the easiest one. The Texans coach? Yeah, the Texans head coach. I don't even know who the head coach of the Texans is. You should because, it, okay, I'm going to help you out. It was a big deal that he, that they drafted Will Anderson. Why was it a big deal they drafted Will Anderson? I have no idea. I'm like, I'm I'm blanked. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Who is it? Oh, I'm not going to tell you because we'll, we'll let the comments get it. I'll tell you when we get up. Okay. Um. Sean Somebody. Payton, no, right? Sean, Sean Payton. Payton is on the list. He is? Sean Payton did play in the NFL. Um, Pete Carroll did not. Pete Carroll did not. Um, did um, did uh, Robert Robert Sala play in the NFL? Robert Sala did not. 
Um, who am I missing? Somebody singing the national anthem in the background. I don't know why. <laughs> um, who am I missing? Who is the who's the Packers head coach? What's his name? Is he on it? I don't think he's on it though. The Packers head coach? He's the he used to be the offensive coordinator for them. And he moved up. I don't know who the Packers head coach is, but I don't think he's on the list. Okay. Um LaFleur. LaFleur. LaFleur is not on the list. Okay, that's the Packers coach. Um yeah, I don't know. It's getting we're almost at three minutes. Oh yeah, Willie, well, well in the comments, uh, if you know nine active head coaches that played in the NFL, even if it was just I think I only got like two, right? they were on a so they were on an NFL roster. All right, if you can name those, uh, you can name the next game. Yeah, so if you if you, name, if you name all nine, then you can choose the next preview. Um, but like I said, thank you guys for sticking so long with us. Uh, like, comment, subscribe down below. Join our college football pick them. We just hit 800 subscribers, so thank you guys so much. We are like 200 away or so from hitting that 1,000 and giving away another jersey. It's been super fun. College football kicks off in officially about a month. So it's going to be fun as well. And we're going to be doing live shows in three weeks from now. So make sure you guys turn the notification on so you guys can see that. Uh, we will see you guys tomorrow. Peace out.